brought up that name Gaddafi, and I'll tell you why. He is a man whose political statements are often incorrect, but whose fashion statements are always in step with the rest of the world. But a man who always makes, as we think, just that final touch that lifts him above the ordinary leader. Ali Sabernbach was kind enough to cast her critical eye on the Qatafi couture. For those really special occasions, Qaddafi chooses crowd-pleasing white rayon sparked with gold. The military theme is toned down with a traditional notched collar, understated crimson epaulets, and underneath, a Tommy Hilfiger Dacron shirt. <laughs> After a long, tiring trip, Colonel Qaddafi emerges unrumpled in a tailored but softer two-piece mustard gabardine suit with longer jacket and stand-up Nehru collar. For contrast, he chooses a Jabot-style cape. <laughs> for slower travel, here's a stonewashed denim ensemble created for style, comfort, and the unexpected. The shirt is layered with a mix-and-match vest featuring the hot new tunnel neck zipped up the side, and the headgear is a must in the desert. For playful comfort and ease, Colonel Qaddafi wears a Cookie Monster blue jumpsuit and turns to the serious with a tradition true military hat and saucy swagger stick. Remember the take anywhere, throw anywhere little sweater of the 50s? They called it a shrug. Well, here's the Qaddafi style shrug of the 90s, all soft and cuddly with a tracing of gold. And here's a stunning spruce green mantle bordered in hand-stitched trapunto. But for pure drop-dead glamour, Colonel Qaddafi returns to a bright white suit trimmed in gold, emperor style. All in all, the best-dressed dictator on the planet today. Yeah! Lisa Bumba, beautiful. All right. <laughs>